All right, so problem 105 wants to take a look at these. We have a bunch of degrees over here, and we want to figure these out without a calculator, so without using a calculator. So the big thing about this is, first of all, get an idea of where these are on the unit circle. So if I look at problem A, I'm going to take a look at 180 degrees. So 180 degrees, starting off from 0 degrees, is right here. That is an angle of 180 degrees. The second thing we need to take a look at is if I'm, we're dealing with either sine or cosine or tangent. So for this particular problem, they can look at sine, and sine measures the height. So what this question is saying is if I look at 180 degrees, what is the height of that right there? Well, that height is going to be zero. It does not have a height. It's right on your x-axis. So again, if I take a look now at the next problem, again, a quick look at my unit circle. It's a great looking unit circle there. So at 360 degrees going all the way around back to there, my height, again, it is a sine value. So my height is going to be again, zero. So for the first two problems, they were both zero. For problem C, I now want negative 90 degrees. All right, so negative 90, is just going backwards, 90 degrees. So right here, that is my angle right there. So if I do that, the height now is this length, which is now going to be negative 1. For the next problem, I need to take a look at 510 degrees. All right, so 510 degrees means I'm going all the way around the unit circle more than one time. So if I went all the way around the unit circle right there, that's 360. Another 90 degrees over here is going to bring me up to 450. And then I need to go another 60 degrees from there. So I would go all the way over here, leaving me at a point right around there where that is then going to be 30. So if that's 30 degrees, sine again is my height. So I want to know what is this side length of that triangle. So again, I went around a full unit circle plus the rest of it to get to 510, which leaves me now with basically the same thing as a 150 degree angle. So my height for that is going to be a 1 half because again, the height at a, for a 30 degree triangle is 1 half. The next problem is the first one dealing with cosine. So I'm going to draw myself a new unit circle. And at 90 degrees, 90 degrees, right here, I want to look at my cosine value. Well, my cosine is the horizontal distance from the y-axis. So the cosine value there is going to be 0. So this one, if it was a sine problem, it would ask for the height, but not this one. This is a cosine value, so I want the horizontal distance, but it is 0 because it's right on that y-axis. The next one, tangent of negative 90. So we located where negative 90 was before, right here. So if I look at that, that means my cosine value is 0. My sine value is a negative 1. So... Tangent is the ratio of sine divided by cosine. And again, I get those numbers. That's the numerator of sine. That's the denominator of cosine. So now when I take a look at this, that cannot happen. You cannot divide by 0, so it is an undefined solution. Or there's no solution to that because you cannot divide by 0. 